From the Phone Zone Sports Desk, I'm Ryan Hedrick. Here's a look at what's trending. It was raining threes in VA last night. Just ask St. Bonaventure guard Matt Mobley. Boom. One after another after another. After another, Bonnies now have won three straight in the A-10, and they are now five and four in the conference after basically being left for dead about a week ago. Ron Lemons on the phone with us, the co-host of the Fast Break, five on five Fast Break here on WNY Sports now on Fridays. Ron, quick reaction from the St. Bonaventure win because now they're headed in the right direction. And it was nice to see them get their first road win against George Mason last night. I think going on the road to Pittsburgh, to play uh, the Dukes of Duquesne on Saturday night is really going to be a good measure and a good test for us to really see where they're at. All right, Ron, we will talk to you Friday afternoon for the 5-on-5 five five Fast Break. Let me take you to Radio Row Super Bowl 52. Two guys from Houston. They're radio hosts, and they get into a brutal argument. The worst thing is, it's live on the air. In the World Series, what's now? Your Gulf Coast Regional Radio. The Josh in his network. How do you know that? You don't listen when did I say I don't listen? That's your shtick. That's okay. your shtick. You say you don't listen. I've never okay. said I don't listen. Okay. Yeah. You clown. You're lying again. What am I lying about? You lie about that? Me calling my lawyers? I never said you guys said you. Oh, radio no, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. You didn't. Hey, who, who oh, Seth and Mike lawyer? and I. Oh, they're my great friends. Let me tell them why they suck. Who am I supposed to know who calls a lawyer? Thank my Well, then why would you say? All right, to the NBA, a 50-point game for a Portland Trailblazer who made his mark, C.J. McCollum, a night after James Harden had 60. Also, look at this slam dunk by Dwight Howard, taking it back to 2008 when he was a star with the Lakers, flying through the air with reckless abandon, finishing with the right-hand flush, and the Hornets beat the Hawks again for the second time in as many weeks. And finally, former NASCAR driver Richard Childress is reacting to an attempted home invasion last month at his North Carolina residence. Authorities arrested three suspects in the case. Police say Childress confronted the three men and fired shots after hearing a crash on the night of the incident. And, uh, after these guys uh, you know, get their punishment, I'll be able to talk more about it. On the Phone Zone Sports Desk, I'm Ryan Hedrick. It all unfolds here.